Sachin Bera, a Tibetan retreat center in Alahis, is a most unusual place. It's also the site of a most unusual project, the building of a Tibetan temple. The project began seven years ago and may take another year or two to complete, but a significant event happened recently, the placing of 15 gold-plated ornaments on its copper roof. So today is the culmination of many years of work and uh, over the last eight months we've been applying the copper roofs to the temple and we use the copper alloy like the euro coin so it won't turn green it stays gold and now we're putting the jewels in the crown by putting the copper ornaments uh, on the building so can we see one yeah this is an example of one of them that's on the topmost roof on the corners and this is called a chosen, and it's like a dragon. So this is uh, one of four chosens that myself and Isha have been gilding for the last few months. And this is part of the copper roof ornaments. The, the ornament itself is copper, and there was a process we did. So we cleaned the copper, painted the copper, um, and then we applied something called gold size, which is like a glue for gold and then we applied 23.5 carat gold leaf. The significance of the project was recognised by Tygo Sullivan, chairman of the Alhees Copper Mine Museum. As regards the wider Bear Peninsula, when I was a young guy growing up over the road here in Cahamore, um, uh, uh, Dojan Bear didn't exist, uh, but people with vision, I think it was 1973, started off this, this particular project on Barber's site. Uh, and it developed slowly and it was always it was always a bit out there from the local community but gradually over the years because of the ethos of this place the openness and the welcoming approach that you have uh, to everybody uh, it became integrated into the community and it is now a central and key part of not only the Alihis community but the Beira Peninsula and that is a credit to everybody involved here who has been involved over the years not just Liam but many others um, because I have been coming in here for many, many years and I have known people um, and everybody had the same approach. They were welcoming, they were open uh, and everybody was welcome to any event that was on here. So well done to everybody involved over a long number of years. Uh, it is now a central and key part of the Beira Peninsula, of the community of the Beira Peninsula and that is a credit to all involved. The copper that Liam was talking about, I'm involved, and Tara and Anne over here have come in with me today from the Museum in Alahis. Uh, and copper mining is a central part of the Bear Peninsula story. It's a central part of uh, the Alahis story, but uh, the people from Alahis and Beira and beyond worked and toiled in the mines in Alahis. And what I have brought today is a sample of the copper from uh, our museum, which I will place in this fabulous ornament which is being placed on top of the temple and that is uh, uh, signifying the, the the integration and the, the contribution that we would like to make and that we want to be involved in this project and we are looking at going in, at that into the future i want to compliment leon again and his team who have uh, brought this project to this stage i want to compliment brian and his team who are local builders and who have done a fantastic job and and, and from all the feedback I get, uh, they couldn't have done any more because it's, it's, it's an, an amazing achievement to get it this far and when it's finished, it will be spectacular. The site itself is spectacular. The temple on the site will be doubly spectacular. The copper ingot was placed in a Zertog, the central ornament, and it was winched by a specialized team of workers into place. The work continued throughout the day until all 15 gold-plated ornaments were securely in place. I'm holding in my hand uh, one of two pieces of very precious copper that we have at the Alihis Copper Mine Museum. Uh, this copper uh, is a pure uh, ingot of copper which was mined during the 1800s and went off to Swansea for smelting, came back to us and are very precious in the uh, collection at Alihis. We are delighted to be in a position today here at this ceremony to present this to Dogs and Beira, to the community here, and it will be uh, integrated into the Copper Dome just sitting on top of this new temple, and it signifies the uh, integration of the community here at Dogs and Beira into the wider community of the Beira Peninsula and Alihis. 
Elsewhere on site, retreats continue and the coffee shop is as busy as ever. It's a very special day for us here today, uh, putting the ornaments on the roof of the temple. We've been building the temple for seven years now and we really see the copper roofs in many ways as being the crown of the temple. And you could say in putting the ornaments on that we're putting the jewels in the crown. And we call them ornaments, but they're not extraneous decoration. Each one has a powerful symbolic value from the point of view of the Buddhist tradition. And uh, something else that happened that was powerfully symbolic today was the including of an ingot of copper that was mined in Alahis in the Sertog, in the main central ornament uh, at the top of the temple. And um, what I learned today was that there's actually only two ingots uh, that they did have, and they've given us one. So I think this is really resonant of the connection that Zogshanbera has with the Bera Peninsula, with the local community now. And that was um, deeply moving for all of us to hear Tai's words, because that's the way we feel. So to feel embraced in that way was, uh, was also very important for us today.